I'm Miles from Musician Supply and come in to work a little early this morning so we can install some Fender 64 Telecaster Pure Vintage pickups and a customer's GNL Classic Telecaster guitar. Good tip when you're going to install pickups before you even take anything apart is to test that the new pickups actually have a signal. So an easy way to do that is to set up and a jack, two wires, so you can plug into a test amp, and little alligator clips on the end. So with all guitar wiring, there's going to be two wires, a ground wire, which hooks to the shaft of the quarter inch, could be, you could also call it the negative cable, and then the other end of the circuit is the positive, or I usually think of it as the signal wire, or the hot wire, some people will call it. So I've got the typical color coding on my wires to my test jack, white for the signal or positive, or black for the ground or negative, and then all you need is a small very blunt piece of metal and should get a nice clear tap test out of your pickups and if you've ever made the mistake of putting in a pickup that doesn't work exactly right you'll learn the value of having a little test jack like that it's also very handy for troubleshooting stuff inside the guitar where you don't know why the signal's not getting to the jack well you can just take your test jack and hook it straight up to where each possible point in the signal loss is happening and try to eliminate some things that way. Everything went great with this install. The only wrinkle was massaging the hole in the pick guard for the neck pickup. Didn't quite fit, but just massaged it with some 220 grit. Careful to keep the shape and do a lot of test fittings. You're not doing more than you need to. And I think it turned out perfect. Just going to do some final play testing, make sure everything intonates and plays without buzzing still since I did mess with the bridge. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.